Alright, hello and welcome to another stream, I suppose. Now, first things first, that I need to do is uh, say sorry to the people who have been kind of misled on uh, my uh, notifications on Discord. Um, I will not be doing Gotharban. Instead, I will finish off the scenarios that I've created for uh, the South London area. And then, next time, I'm going to move to uh, more international stuff. So, next time, I'm going to be doing Gotthard Ban and uh, Swift Ever Line and uh, maybe New York City to God knows where, New York or New Jersey area, stuff, stuff like that. Anyways, welcome to Hayes Station, which I probably mispronounced up so completely lewdly. And we are going to be driving to class 465 from Hayes to Cannon Street Station. This scenario was a proposed idea by Brandt, so I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be driving it. The other scenario today that I would like to focus on is the one proposed by Sheridice, who is in the chat, so hello to you, and uh, hello to no time. But uh, the second scenario that I'm gonna be driving today is was proposed by Sheridice. And uh, it's a Thameslink service. So we'll get to that afterwards as well. But right now we have a Southeastern service to uh, worry about. New York City to God knows where, only $49.99 single, $93.99 return. Yes, how long will you be streaming today? Uh, this scenario, uh, the Southeastern scenario has four, is 40 minutes long and the uh, the Tamsling scenario is 50 minutes. But I have to mention that I did not test the Tamsling scenario, so I actually have no idea whether it's possible to finish or whether there's... Uh, but you know, whether the timetable is actually possible to do as well and stuff like that. I have not playtested the Thameslink scenario, but I have playtested this and I'm already fucking it up because there's a 15 mile per hour speed limit here. It's okay though. Just a few points. So just so you know, we have 14 stops along the way. We have just left the first one, which was Haya Station. We are stopping next at West Wickham, followed by Eden Park, followed by Elmer's End, followed by Clock House, uh, New Beckenham, Lower Sydenham. Catford Bridge, Ladywell, Lewisham, St. John's, New Cross, London Bridge, and London Cannon Street. The timetable in this scenario is uh, laid back, so you don't have to worry about speeding too much. But I mostly did that so that I can read chat while uh, stop the stations. But either way, it's nice to sometimes just get a bit more of a relaxing um, scenario to play. Where you don't have to worry about the timetable as much.
We are an 8 car train, so I'll be aiming for the 8 car stop, stop signs. That's good enough. his game crashes probably yeah or that that's the that's the second option for how long this will be See it, car stop. I hear some drunken idiot screaming racist lurks close to my door. Does Bruno for you? Ah, yes. Sounds very pleasant and nice. Thankfully, I don't live there. Lobster card. I'll be lost without my lobster. <laughs> I love that. What well, a beautiful replacement of the oyster card. Information, information. I have some buses here. It's a very nice area. Considering that this part uh, is of the that route is not an official DLC, but a uh, custom workshop-made uh, content. This is fairly nice. But then again, the person who made this has a history of high-quality content. So that's why this just generally feels so nice and good. I like this. Also, in case it wasn't apparent, we are still within London. Why do you have to bring this kind of shit up now? Hello, Gengo, welcome! It does look nice. Yes, indeed. Kinda makes you want to live in here.
Какой город это создал Нил? Yes, we are now entering Elmer's End station. Hello, Vigi, you're welcome. Loud by Boom Vest Effects. <laughs> What's our destination again? <laughs> London Cannon Street Station. Starting from Hayes, going through West Wickenham, Eden Park, Elmer's End, Clock House, New Beckenham, Lower Sydenham, Catford Bridge, Ladyville, Lewisham, St. John's, New Cross, London Bridge, and finally the London Cannon Street. Which is exactly 10 miles away. <laughs> and the arrival is at 8.56, so roughly 40 minutes. This actually takes one hour, okay, so I, I, I've mistyped the session information. I'll have to probably fix that. Anyways. <laughs> but yeah, either way, both scenarios today should take one hour to uh, complete, so... In case you're interested on for the map, we started down here at Hayes, going through here, up there, through there, through here, and then ending in Canal Street. This is the network map. Goes all the way to I believe Faversham, yeah. And on the bottom it goes to. Bridge and then on the top you have Blackfriars Canal Street, uh, Charing Cross and Victoria. So a, a lot of termini stations. Termini? Terminuses? Yeah. This is wonderful. Three stations within two miles. Nice. Station of the city of Moscow is... Yes, of course. Regional memes that no one will understand, not even me. But yes, I guess. That's a nice little station.
clock house. Where's the house of the clock? Hardware exclusive takeaway. Yeah, Corner kebab house. City wines, homework, <laughs> sporting goods. Mmm, yes. Is this the clock house? Yeah, who knows? Probably the clock house does, but that's not me. Thirty five miles per hour. Damn. Oh, let's just lay back a little. Oh, yeah, I can go fast, anyways. Another Southeastern service. And the Southern service as well. Hello. And goodbye. As the line that goes to South Bromley or towards there, Orpington and stuff. Sixty miles per hour. Unfortunately, there's a forty coming up, and the station behind it as well. The width of the station indicates that there used to be a third track here, most likely. At least I, I would guess so. But yeah, I'm, I'm no historian, I don't know. This is Czech House. A line here for other Southeastern services. <laughs> Looks like a modern library building. Yes. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Cook House Railway Station. Let's see. It's the London Borough of Bromley uh, in Southeast London in Travel Guard Zone 4 between Beckham and Bench. Stem, yep, okay, blah, blah, blah. The station, so this is 1890, named after nearby residents of Cater family, demolished in 1896. Clockhouse retains his original street level booking hall and the remnants of his platform canopies. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. Very interesting read. A line here, yes. Exclusive takeaways. Sounds like a place that will give you salmonella so hard that you will obliterate your toilet out of this dimension. True, but at the same time, yeah, I guess. I don't know. I guess just true. That, that's all. <laughs> That's all you're gonna get, just true. I believe there was another service down to Hayes. And I might be mistaken, I'm not sure. Hey, 
it's a relatively perfect stop. Come on, you have to admit, that's quite good. May not be like literally next to it, but you know. Oh my god. I forgot this billboard existed. And when I looked, when I rotated the camera from here to look at the train and I saw this. I don't know why, but it just jump scared me. Like, what the f- <laughs> Why would you do this? Why do you hate me? For yourself. For everyone in your family. And city. And what not. True, but at the same time, yeah. <laughs> Ding doing keep up in it. Also, to obliterate your talent. Imagine if the TCV had a wheel running sound like this. Ah, uh, yes, the flat spot. <laughs> Not Valve. That's Fort Bridge. Oh fuck! Speed? No! 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 It's pronounced without the E, so it's like race but with age. Ah, so haze, okay. Relatively perfect. Yeah, that's a good stop. Yay! Crashes through Stonewall. Hello, London! I know it's an arch, but still. Yes. on your door. Hello, London! <laughs> In the most stereotypical British accent. Huh? Oh! It's a Link Thames. Just so you guys are aware, we will be driving on this line soon. In the next scenario. <laughs> this here looks so good. This 465, I like it. Alles gut. Nicht auf die Punkte achten. Bitte einfach ignorieren. Ah, yes, of course. Who made this scenario? Me, of course. Of course I know him. It's me. <laughs> Who made this, yes. I would like a scenario in train sim, just a short one, where you can just sit 
in the driver, uh, not the driver, the passenger seat and just enjoy the view, you know. I know, yeah, Train Sim World has stuff like that, but I don't want to buy every single DLC again. Just to do that. I, I wanna do it here. <laughs> I'm gonna find a way. It's a water canal. I forgot there's a station here. I did notice it. I was looking at it. But I just didn't bother actually applying the brake up until now. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to apologize for any spilled coffee the sudden braking may have caused. You are not eligible for any kind of refund if the coffee has burned you. You are neither eligible for an ambulance. No. Announcement over. It was you, but you seem surprised by the link teams. No, I'm just pretending. I was at Painton Station yesterday night, which is serviced by GWR, and there was a diesel version of this train. Ah. VR Class 165. Station announcement said it was a four car train to Bristol Temple Meads, but it clearly had three cars. Oh no, a fuck up! <laughs> I was thinking about having sessions like that on DMVR and new third rail route when those are done. Mm -hmm. The coffee has burned me. I demand a refund for my fucking... No, I will not. Blech. <laughs> but yeah, I mean... I'm, I'm, I'm very interested to see what you will do with the third rail route. Like what will come out of it. If you could make like a kind of a commuter network similar to I don't know maybe like this that would be very interesting to see God damn it the train left without me again Oi you forgot the camera You can't just drive off like this can you Ha, huh, get a speeding ticket. Anyways, that was junction. As we're going under something again. And over s something. And uh, it's a double yellow. Followed by 20 miles an hour speed limit. As we are now entering Lewisham station. Shut. This is very nice, very beautiful, I like this. Oh no, it's a single yellow, whatever the f we will do at the next signal. We will crash and die and burn, oh no. Oh. Okay. Don't touch that. <laughs> That makes two of us. <laughs> yeah, that is the idea. That would be nice. Shut off, she could confirm. Yeah, fuck off. Don't worry, the game won't let 
the camera be left behind for too much? Yes. Followed by 20 mile an hour speed limits. Or followed by 20 mile an hour speed limits. Uh, yes. A South Asian profusely apologizes for the sudden breaking in any potentially spilled toilet water this may have caused. However, we will not be offering anything in the refunds department at this time. Consult with your local South Asian station manager for further information. Ah, yes. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where does that one go? Uh, that goes to Victoria. Okay. And came from there. Nice. A crossover. <laughs> crossover episode. <laughs> and we can move out. This is a very nice part of the network. So that guy's gone. We are merging onto this line here. The speed limit is 60 miles per hour. How nice. Crossover, Southeastern X, Gatwick Express, the long awaited thing. <laughs> yes, <laughs> roughly every how many miles on average is there a junction on this part of the network, do you think? Um, as in junction, do you also count in crossovers from one track to the other, or only where the tracks split into different lines? I think either way, it's maybe like three miles, maybe even less. Seven which checks place are joined in or with different lines, so just generally all the junctions. Well, um, yes. <coughs> I mean, there are some more denser areas, like uh, for example, Elephant and Castle and Herna Hill, which is, yep. of different lines then there is London Bridge which uh, only has junctions between each other tracks then long straight and junctions between each other then a shorter straight then the first line splits off then the second line splits off and the third and fourth and fifth <laughs> So yeah, but generally the area on average I would say is like 3 miles, maybe like between 2 and 3 miles there's a junction on average, I would say. Maybe one and a half, <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> like I would put it somewhere between 2 and 3 miles, but more at around maybe like, well if I were if I was to be precise, I would probably put something like 2.1 or like between 1.8 and 2.1 the more I think about it. Because I'm just remembering all of the different junctions and paths that you are actually able to take here. The more I think about it, the more I realize that you essentially can just cross anytime, anywhere, almost. <laughs> so it's like down to a mile now in my head actually. 
<laughs> but yeah, I would say it's like depends. Near the terminus, I would say every mile, every half a mile, and between the terminuses, I would say it goes up to like two miles, maybe three. I mean, so as to not count in this survey. Mm. And Spossling Station Terminus. Oof! It's uh, a right Clapham Junction in here. <laughs> yes. But yeah, there's a lot of splits and stuff on the network. Like, for example, uh, if you go from uh, Charing Cross Station, there's a merge, there's a line going over, there's a split into Cannon Street. There's then there's London Bridge. Uh, that's a terminal station as well. So suddenly, from uh, Southeastern Line, you have Southeastern Thames Link, and then Southeastern Thames Link, Thames Link, and Thames Link, and Thames Link, and Thames Link, and Southeastern, Southeastern, and Southeastern, you know? And then there's fucking Southern on top of that. And then they all run along each other. And then they split. Southern goes off, and then there's uh, Overground mixed in, and. Then Thameslink splits off and Southern splits off and Southeastern again and you know It's a mess of different lines And it all happens everything that I just mentioned it happens in like I don't know three miles like look my distance to London Bridge Station right now is uh, 2.7 miles and in those 2.7 miles we have at least three or four overground lines going around here we have three southeastern uh, areas where uh, you know southeastern lines we have the southern coming in as well and we have the thames link coming in as well in three miles of distance not even that so that's for the terminus Then in the like areas between the larger cities, it obviously all these lines spread around to cover the town, the, the towns and the city a bit more, you know, to do they their job of being a commuter rail. And then they come in again, merge again. So I would say it's more more of like you get a lot of junctions and you have longer area of le less junctions or nothing. And then you suddenly have a lot of junctions again when you reach another bigger station. service and there's another southeastern service here and there's another southeastern up there and we've overtaken the Thames link as well there are at least two other southeastern services going against us. Very busy, this network and this station.
This is why I love London Bridge. You can put in so much wonderful and beautiful traffic. Like this. You know? Another southeastern on our right that arrived as well. There's a Thameslink service that we overtaken, has just arrived. The other Thameslink is leaving now. There was a southern service that we've arrived alongside it and uh, there's another southern service that left, it's all the way down there already, it's gone. I like this. Yep, that's why I love this part of the global rail network. Yep. This is killing way. Change here for the circle line and other southeastern services. Almost like they built railways on top of each other for 200 years within a densely populated city. <laughs> Imagine a BR class for C5 with a coach. <laughs> I meant. Oh, 456. Yeah, okay. Imagine a BR class 456 with a coach. Yes. Railways have existed for one fifth of a millennium already. Yep. It's wild. <laughs> Just need to close my window. the Thames. As we have Cannon Street right before us. Oh, the southeastern is leaving on the right.
look at that London Bridge. This is nice. There's a cathedral, which means Blackfriar Station is right here. With City Thames Link right behind that. And London Charing Cross, right on the edge of the area where I can fly, is here. So, yeah, also very nice. Anyways, that's the end of the scenario. Full score despite everything. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let's read the chat before. Uh, this is vital. Change your southeastern services. Do you know what train operator? You'd like to have on your third railroad route? Would it be southeastern or perhaps fictional operator? Imagine if, as part of urban development, redevelopment, the Greater London Rail Network was changed so that every single every single service originates from the same trip. No, God no. Huh. I guess it would no longer be considered a network. I mean, it could be considered a network with just one main station and then just everything around it. This inspires me to build a fictional Central European city with the same density of rail network as London. Go ahead. Means I will consider it not, not work. <laughs> it went me no time. <laughs> like you second step. This station reminds me of London Victoria with a closed ceiling. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could draw up a track layout before starting the route itself? Yep. Yeah. It's real rich coming from me, I know. And then pine over it. Or for whichever you prefer. Prefer. That's one of very good advice. Type more chat. The stream will be extended forever. No, you really cough. But yeah, see us in a bit. Yep. So uh, starting the second stream. <laughs>